Sorry, I'm just like half asleep. It's 527. But welcome back to another week of training. It's been a little while since I've done one of these videos. And I'm sorry. Everything's okay, I promise. I just... It's been about, what, three, four weeks or so since I did my last video. Basically what happened is, honestly, the, the real truth is I just hit a wall with training. You know, I, I burned out. I was really just pushing my body way too much and not giving it the proper rest it needed. But also the intensity of my workouts that I was pushing myself to was just, I just hit a wall. And that's a simple truth. So what I did is I actually took two weeks off a couple weeks ago didn't film i didn't work out at all i just took the time to let my body rest let me mentally rest from it all and i've also been like super busy with work and and deep in my work in like a good way like it takes up a lot of my my mental energy right now um and that's really what i want to keep focusing on because obviously that's really important to me so Last week, I finally got back into the groove of training again. I had a good week last week. Um, I'm finally outside on the bike for every workout. But what I've had to do is really just tell myself, like, listen, the only reason I'm doing this is for one, to challenge myself, but two, like, I want to enjoy it. There's no need for me to push my body to a point where I'm just exhausted all the time. Um, you know, my goal is to go out here, do these races, enjoy them. I don't need to come in first place or anything like that. Because for one, that's not going to happen. But for two, it's just like, you know, me pushing myself like this. Um, it just made it not as enjoyable. So I had to take a step back, remember why I'm, why I'm doing all this and, to begin with. And so now, you know, I'm just trying to enjoy these workouts. Because before I was starting to dread every single workout and that's not what this is about this is about you know just enjoying the journey the journey to race day um, and just having fun with it not taking it as serious so yeah now I'm just trying to enjoy it try to not take it as serious um, but so an update today is June 5th which is crazy because next month is my full Ironman. But this month I have my half Ironman, which is Happy Valley in Pennsylvania. So getting close to that, um, I'm excited for it, but I'm really excited for Lake Plaza just to be here because <laughs> I'm just tired of training. I've been training since the beginning of December and I'm excited to get my life back. I will say so. I'm sure that if any of you are in the peak of your training for a full Ironman, you might understand what I'm going through right now. But I'm getting through it, I'm enjoying it, and today I have a little bit of an hour bike ride, I guess. Just gonna take it outside, enjoy it, not make it too stressful. Um, but first, again, it's 5.30 now, so I need to get some more coffee in me. But that's the update, everything's okay. It's just I needed to take a little break to make sure I don't go insane. All right, made it outside. It is 6.30, so I had a nice little hour to take down some coffee. So yeah, I think this workout's only like an hour and six minutes, so just gonna ride to Central Park, cruise around for an hour, I mean, it'll be a little bit more than just cruising. It'll be a little bit of a workout, but I'm just gonna try to enjoy it overall. And uh, let's have a good morning. Just made it to Central Park, so the workout is officially underway. Really just gonna do some laps around the park, get some good hills in, get some work downhill on the aero bars. I will say life has gotten so much better now that I've been able to take this bike outside for every workout, even on these shorter workouts. Life is good now, life is good. All right, finished one lap. 
one lap in Central Park is about right around six and a half miles. I'm, uh, I think I did it in like 23 minutes or so. Um, but God, I, I love this spring. Just look at all the greenery. I gotta be more mindful though when I'm riding outside to keep my mouth closed. Cause I had a damn bug fly in my mouth and I about choked on it mid-ride. So I gotta remember to breathe in the in the nose, out the mouth. I don't know. I just don't want to swallow any more bugs. I just finished all the main sets, so now I'm just in a five-minute cooldown. So I'm just gonna use this cooldown to cycle back home. Good workout. I got three full laps in. Three full laps in. Got some hill work. Spent a lot of time on the arrows. And overall, just enjoyed it, which again is my goal now. Honestly, like my goal moving forward for the rest of the workouts for training is just to get in the time. Like I'm not, I care less about the sets for each workout. Hold on, just make sure I don't fall off. I care less about the sets for each workout and more about just getting the allotted time done for each one. You know, other people might have other opinions on how important doing the actual sets are, but I think time in the saddle, time running, time in the pool, at this point in training is probably the most important thing for me. So that's all I'm focused on. Overall, good workout, headed back home now. I got work today. And uh, you're gonna have a good day and tomorrow we have a run. All my workouts are outside now, which is what I love. I love springtime, I hate the winter. I say that now and then I'm gonna end up complaining about it being too hot in about a month or so. I will see you guys tomorrow. Also, here's the final stats for this ride up here on the left, or well, my left, maybe you're right. I don't know. See you tomorrow. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Thursday morning, and I am on a one hour and five minute run. You know, normally these runs, I used to at least, the weekday runs I would do on the treadmill, but now that the weather's nice, like I mentioned yesterday, I try to keep all my workouts outside. It's just a lot more enjoyable that way. You know, these workouts started, well at least these runs, once they started hitting that hour mark, they just became miserable on the treadmill, so much better outside. But yeah, just gonna do an hour and five minutes. Gonna run in the park. It just stopped raining, thankfully. So it might be a little humid on this run. But overall, it feels really nice. It's 70 degrees out. God, I'm only 11, a little over 11 minutes since this run. I'm already sweating. I'm so sticky. This humidity is something else. This is why I moved away from Florida. Honestly, props to anyone that does live in Florida or lives in any other climates that are really hot, like year round, because training, I know that can be a bitch. After I get about four months of it here in the city, I'm ready for the fall already. So, on the bright side, I feel like you guys have a leg up because you get so much more heat training than I do. <sighs> Which definitely has its benefits. Cold training is hard too. I don't want to underestimate that. All right, I'm halfway through the run, 4.12 miles in. I don't know what my average pace is. My heart rate has been a little bit higher though than I would like it to be. I don't know if it's because it's hotter and more humid than normal. Oh, I'm already soaking wet too. I haven't had a run like this in months. 
However, I have missed this sweating feeling. I feel like that's when you actually feel like you're doing something in your workouts when you're sweating a lot. The shirt had to come off. It's just too damn humid. I feel so much better now. I should have done this from the very beginning. Oh, all right. Run complete. One hour, one hour five minutes. It's like 7.8 miles. Oh God, it's humid. <clears throat> A good run. That felt good. I definitely feel like my legs are getting back into the rhythm of these longer workouts, thank God. Last week was my first week back of like really doing my workouts since I had taken those two weeks off, I guess you could say. And last week was a struggle. But I am feeling a little bit better this week, which is good. By the way, I got this hat in the mail. I got like a package from the Iron Man Foundation. And it has my Iron Man Foundation tri suit because if you guys have been watching, you know that I've been raising money for the Iron Man Foundation for the Lake Placid race, which I'm still accepting donations, so feel free to donate. But I'm also still selling the shirts if you guys want a shirt as collateral for donating. The link will be in the description. <sighs> but I'll show you my tri suit in a little bit. It's actually kind of cool. They did a pretty good job with them. But before I do any of that, one thing that hasn't changed is this. Oh, that is so refreshing after a run. I should probably be drinking Gatorade, but I'm gonna take this down first and then I'll get a Gatorade later. Okay, so today's Friday. I completely forgot to show my tri suit yesterday. I got caught up with work, so I just wanted to show it really quick because it is actually, it's pretty nice. They did a great job when it came to like the design. They're new, I think they, they used to be like a light blue, so now they're red, hold on. So here it is, but it's got this nice design. It's Santini, so hopefully this will be comfortable to actually wear for 13 hours or however long it takes me to do the race, but yeah, it's got really nice branding. I mean, it looks professional, that's for sure. It's got this nice patch back here, Iron Man Foundation. Race for more. You have it on the side of the leg. Even on the shoulders, it says race for more. It's really nice. I like it a lot. And since it's red, you know what they say, like when you see a red car, it looks like it's going a lot faster than it is. So hopefully the red tri suit makes me look a lot faster. <laughs> but this morning I had a swim workout I did about 3,100 yards, um, but primarily it was just really three big sets of a thousand yards. So that was that. Now I was gonna work today and then tomorrow I have my long brick workout and then a long run on Sunday. So I'll see you then. Good morning. It is Saturday morning and today I have a nice short five hour bike ride. So, should be a nice ride. I'm actually wearing my race tri suit today. Get a little, set some race conditions, you know? Plus, I haven't worn this for a ride yet. So, I figure it's probably important for me to test it out before race day because you never want to try something new for the first time on the day of the race. So, I'm just hoping that this suit doesn't cause any issues today but it looked nice and official, right? So yeah, five hour ride, gonna ride up to Nyack, uh, which is outside the city, gonna ride over into Jersey, and then have a nice little ride. It's great weather outside, it's like 65 degrees or so, and it will get up to probably the 70s, maybe mid 70s on this ride, maybe even 80s. So it should be a beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky. So let's have a hell of a ride today, let's enjoy it. Not that you're riding with me, but hypothetically speaking, let's just pretend that you are so I'm not lonely. This camera was almost a goner. I was in aero position in the park 
and I had this camera in like the back of my pocket, like the back pocket on my back, and it came flying out. And I just started hearing not the nicest sounds. It sounded like something was just shattering into a million pieces. But then when I went to go pick it up, it wasn't broken at all. I am so shocked. Nothing was shattered. I just have a bunch of scratches on here. But it's good. The camera has some battle wounds now. All right. There's some kind of 10K happening in the park. So I only did like three fourths of a lap and now I'm gonna head over to the west side and just start heading up to Jersey. Crossing over the George Washington Bridge now, about to be in Jersey. All right, I made it over onto the Palisades over in New Jersey. This is my, well, one of my favorite parts of the ride. It's just because it's so calm and peaceful. Completely different than the city, as you can tell. But yeah, so I'll be on here for, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes or so. There's a lot of good downhills here on the Palisade that I can really get use out of my aero bars, which is where I like to practice a lot, which since there's no cars around. But there's also some pretty big hills. Like there's one at the very end of the Palisade. It's like a mile straight uphill. And I'll be honest, it is, it's not my favorite. I feel like I'm gonna die every time. However, when I did it last week, I did feel a little bit stronger. So hopefully that means I'm getting a little better. Oh shit. Oh my God. I almost just ran over a chipmunk. Man, they gotta watch out. But I am an hour in, well, 58 minutes in. I've gone 13.16 miles, so not that great, but it's just because there's so much traffic and a lot of stop and going sometimes in the city. But now I'm kind of gonna be free and clear, so I should pick up that mile per hour uh, pace. What a great, beautiful day. <laughs> These are the days I dreamed about back in winter right here. I'm on this big climb at the end. It's never easy, but and I probably don't sound like it. I definitely feel stronger than I did last week. I think I'm like a little over halfway there on this climb. I survived. I just feel a little better that time. So I'm happy about that. Now I'm done with the Palisade and getting on 9W and just riding north. I'm an hour and a half in, 20 miles. Let's just keep cruising, baby. This is my second favorite part of this ride. It's this street like right on the water. I'm in, I'm still in, I was in Jersey, crossed back over into New York. And this is like Piermont, right before you get to Nyack. And it's all these cute houses right near the water. It's so peaceful too. I would love to live in one of these one day because then you're still like so close to the city. So you can go in for work every day if you need to, but you have your little escape outside of it, which is really nice. But I'm about to be two hours in, going 28 miles. I'm loving this ride today. The weather is like perfect. So I've never rode this far out north. So honestly, I have no idea where I am, but just look at this. Again, this is why I love cycling. I can only get to this stuff like on a bike because obviously I don't have a car. All right, I just hit, well, I'm about to hit the halfway point. So I need to see where the hell I'm at because I have no idea. I have a long way back though. Shit, good thing I have two and a half hours. 
All right, let me just take a second to get a breather. I was gonna maybe ride up this hill, but I don't know if it's worth it to be honest. And I don't really know where it goes. This is the farthest north I've ever rode before, so I'm just gonna not risk getting lost, even though I might already be. Just kidding, I think I know how to get back, but all right. Let's turn this bad boy around and start this journey back to the city. Hell of a morning so far. Hell of a morning. I'll be honest, my nutrition has been all over the place this morning. I didn't have time this week to go pick up some nutrition, so I ordered some online, but it obviously didn't get here yet. So I'm kind of going off of some leftovers that I had from last week. Like I just ate half a Pop-Tart. Probably not the best thing to be eating right now, but just gotta put something on my stomach. I'm just trying to get by this week on nutrition. Next week I'll be a little bit more honed in. All right, I'm just gonna crank out the rest of this ride and I'll see you guys back home. Ride complete, basically five hours, four hours and 57 minutes. 72 miles exactly, actually. My average speed wasn't that great, but there's a lot of hills, a lot of elevation. There's quite a bit of stop and go too. I kind of don't know how I feel right now, to be honest. I, when I got back to the city, I still had about 30 minutes left. So, you know, I was like, yeah, I'll do one more lap in Central Park. And what a mistake that was. It was such a nightmare with all the people. I was just swerving the whole time. So I will not be doing that again. But overall, good ride. Now just gotta change, hydrate, eat, and then we're going to the park to lay out with Lucky and just hang out and relax the rest of the day. But I got it in. That's what I'm most happy about. Oh, now tomorrow, I just have uh, like two and a half hour run. Should be easy. Can't wait for these long training weekends to be over. That's for damn sure. But proud of this one today. Good morning. Oh, it is 6.08 in the morning. And today is the last day of training for the week. Tomorrow's Monday. And Mondays have become my new favorite days of the week because I don't have any training. So if you ever want to give yourself a reason to look forward to Mondays, just make them your off days from working out. But yeah, today's the last day. I have a two hour and 40 minute run today. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna hit mileage wise. I'm just gonna go run for that time and see what happens. But I'm actually not like too sore from my bike ride yesterday, but I am burnt a little bit. You probably can't really tell as much in the camera, but look at that tan line from my suit yesterday. It's not as bad over here, but yeah, luckily I'm actually happy. It's a little cloudy today, so hopefully I don't get any more burnt, but I'm gonna sit here, you know, the typical drill, drink some coffee, wake up a little bit, mentally prepare, and then get outside for this long ass run. Gotta finish this week strong. Honestly, this weather is perfect. It feels pretty nice outside. I think it might be like 65 degrees. Cloudy again. I have a little bit of a sunburn, so I'm happy it's not um, it's too sunny out. But just officially started the run. Two hours, 40 minutes. Should be a nice run today, hopefully. And uh, just going to listen to this real estate investing podcast actually the whole time because I'm trying to you know I'm spending so much time working out now 
it's like I, you know, I want to utilize this time to actually learn sometimes instead of just listening to music. So that's the plan for the day. So let's have a good run. I'm a little over an hour in, hit seven miles. I spent most of that time running in the park, but now I'm headed over to the west side. I'm gonna run south, all the way down to the World Trade Center. I need some water though, I'm thirsty. That's one thing that's great about like the actual race, is you have like water stations along the way. So you don't have that during training. Wouldn't it be nice just to have money to be like, and pay people to go stand along where you plan the run and just hand you water? That'd be a dream. Let's go this way. All right, let's keep trucking. Let's keep going. All right, I'm an hour and a half in, a little, almost 11 miles. It's sprinkling right now and honestly it's so refreshing it's humid out here but i feel pretty good there's been some water fountains along the way thankfully so i've been taking some steps but feeling good all right i'm about to hit two hours i am 13.7 miles in to ride under 14 miles. A nice little view over there. The rain stopped. Still feeling good. So I have about 40 minutes left. I would like to try to see if I can get to 18 miles. I would say that's the goal. I might be able to go over. We'll see. Just keep taking it one step at a time. Guys, something really cool just happened. I gotta take a break for a second. Get some water. Oh shit. But Oh my god no luck anyways if you guys watch youtube everyone knows who casey neistat is but i just ran past him i was like yo casey what's up and he looked at me and waved so cool story that's really all i have to say <laughs> but i'm two hours 14 minutes in we're going 15.5 miles we're getting there Slowly but surely. Oh, oh shit. Uh, run complete, two hours, 40 minutes, 18.7 miles. My average pace was 832. It's raining right now. Oh, I honestly, I need to sit on this curb for a second. Oh my God. Oh, that was a hell of a run. That's the longest run I've done of training so far, I think. You can see the rain falling. It feels so, it feels nice. Royal Trade Center, as you can see it. There we go. Oh, run complete, good run overall. Again, my nutrition wasn't where I would like it to be just because I was running low this week. But it will be better next weekend since I have, I put in an order for new stuff. But hell of a week of training. A hell of a weekend of training. Now I wish I could just go home and sleep the rest of the day. But I actually have two showings out in Brooklyn later this afternoon. So, um, Duncan's going to be in my future. And there's actually one right here somewhere. i got to find it. Then I'm getting on the train and heading uptown. I don't know what my total stats obviously were for this week, but I will put them right here. And uh, yeah, I have one more week next week, and then the following week I think is an off week, an active recovery week. But then I think the following week after that is my half Ironman. So I'm only about two or three weeks from my half Ironman, and then about, what, five or, five or six weeks, maybe five weeks from my full Ironman. So it's getting close. I still have quite a bit of work to do though. Again, the most important thing to me right now is just putting in the time. But great day. 
great week. Feels good to be kind of back at it. Thanks for everyone who kind of like checked in on me and was like making sure everything was okay since I haven't been uploading or doing workouts uh, two weeks ago. But yeah, everything's good. Just sometimes we need a break, man. Life happens and you know, training for an Ironman is a lot of work and it's hard to always fit it in, especially when you know, you're busy with other things in life. So, but thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.